former, someone said, in uh, North Africa. Right. So we went down to Morocco and um, Algeria, Tunisia. You and like, like three friends, four friends? Yeah, three, four friends, yeah. you know. Yeah. It seems like a great trip. Was it a real adventure for you? Oh, yeah. 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 Did you get into, into any mischief, any trouble? Um, any? I did uh, spend a few hours in a Spanish jail. There you go. Which was, yeah, those were the days of... That was of, the uh, name of your first album, too, wasn't it? <laughs> uh, my, my blues album. Yeah. Was Spanish, uh, it was a Lombada album. <laughs> <laughs> it was, uh, no, those, those were the Franco days, and it was scary, you yeah. know, because we had long hair and, you know, blue jeans, and we had Morocco stamped all over our passport, you know what I mean? So this is, yeah. this is just coming back from Northern Africa. Yeah, yeah, and we, and we got... We needed a shower. We'd been in Morocco for several weeks, and we, we needed a hot shower. They arrested you for needing a shower. No, 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 no. You see, uh, we, we, the only reason we would go to a proper campground is, is in order to get a shower. Otherwise, we'd just hit it on the side of the road. Right. And uh, so we, we, you know, said, uh, do you have hot showers? Do you have hot showers? <laughs> yes, sir, we have hot showers. Are you positive you have hot showers? Because we're not going to pay, like, you know, three cents to get in here. <laughs> unless, unless you have a hot shower. So we paid our three cents or whatever, billion pesetas or whatever it was, and, um, uh, <laughs> and uh, of course, no hot shower. Yeah. And um, so I storm into the campground office, and, and I'm, I'm arguing with this guy, I want my billion pesetas back. And, uh, and you know those glass things that you put on desks uh, to put your yeah, photos right. of your family sure. under? Yeah. He had one of those. And I'm making a point, right? Bam, bam, on his, and it shatters. And, um, oh. So he calls the Guardia de Seville, and there I go off, you know, in the back of a little Jeep with these guys with the, you know, Napoleon hats yeah. on. And uh, License to Kill, by the way, I believe, under Franco, weren't they? they were. <laughs> well, no, I think they were. With their yeah. hats, I think yeah. they had to use the hat, though. And uh, so, <laughs> so there I am in, in jail, you know, and, um, and they're sweating me you out. You must have I, just been scared silly. I was, yeah, I, did. I thought, well, obviously it's a minor charge, but... Um, they may just not like the look of me and, and, you know, not hear my case for like six months. Yeah. Uh, but uh, so they're sweating me out and, and they search me and I've got a Swiss Army knife. I'm camping for crying out loud. <laughs> and, and they go, well, what's this? I go, oh, give me a break. It's like Swiss Army knife. And it's totally harmless. And with that, the guy flips open the knife, gashes his finger, blood all over the report. Yeah. Like, oh! People are running to him. <laughs> it, it, it sort of snapped down on yeah, him and gashed yeah. his finger. So like... <laughs> anyway, I'm just, I'm looking at, you know, I'm just thinking Midnight Express. Oh, yeah, you know. sure. <laughs> it's, uh, but, uh, you know, when I wound up, actually, it was, they were quite decent, and I got out of there in a few hours' time. Okay, so after the guy wounded himself, yeah. everything was explained, <laughs> and you were released? Yeah, I went, we went before a magistrate, and yeah. uh, he said what happened, and uh, I told him, the guy, the guy agreed, and yeah. he said, well, just pay for the thing. It was like 20 bucks. Yeah. Well, that's seven, seven billion zillion. <laughs> uh, but that's, that's a great memory to have as a kid, isn't yeah, it? Well, you yeah. almost triggered an international <laughs> episode there. Yeah, of course you know this means war. Right? Yeah. Uh, and so uh, now you have some time off before you go back to work? Yeah. What, but what kind like of things are you doing? I like to keep busy. Yeah. Jog six miles. Yeah. Like that. You, you're working in films? Doing uh, yeah, that? yeah. I'm doing a, a, a feature film right now uh, with a title to be determined. It's currently Fear No Evil. But uh, I guess they can't use it. So it's a drama about uh, blacklisting era in Hollywood in the 50s. Yeah. And uh, it stars Robert De Niro, which is... Uh, oh, man. Yeah, it's, yeah. Kind of a, it's, a, it's kind of a hoot to work with. Uh, yeah, pretty good way to spend your summer, then. Yeah. And when you, go back so, to, when you go back to Cheers, you think it will be another season, a season at a time, another three seasons? What do you think? Well, um, actually, it's, it's, we're set for one more season. And beyond that, it's uh, just up to Ted Dance, I guess. <laughs> oh, is that how that works? <laughs> uh, well, anyway, congratulations on everything, and I'm so happy you could come by here again, well, George. Thanks. Nice to see you. Look, it's, it's George Lent, Ted. We have to do station right over the gate, and we'll be right back.